Hello everyone, welcome back to Final Fantasy 2. I'm a little short today. This audio, the world map audio, sounds like something that would be playing when we're in a town or in a dungeon. Can I just... I can't ferry back unless I pay for it, I guess. What's going on here? Puffed. This is the port of Puffed. To the north is Salamond and to the east is Basque. It didn't look like there was anything more northern. Hey, are you looking for a ride? Only 32 guild of balloon. Not yet. Not yet. So I will have to pay my way back and forth. Huh. This pub is very popular with the same dude. A tiny bask is uh, to our east, but it is a copy occupied by the Imperial Army. Whoops. They're building something horribly big. Yeah, that's, that's the Dreadnought. The town of Basque is to our east, but it's been occupied. Oh, are you all going to tell me the exact same thing? You are. Why? Why did... Why is that the... Oh, hey. What? Hold on. Yeah, even the, even the person behind the counter. Sid's buddy. You want to ride on the only airship in the world? We'll take you anywhere in a flash. Of course, it requires some, you know what. So we can go to Basques for 100, Salomon for 200, Semet Falls for 300, and Cassion for 400. Hey! Want to ride on my airship? You pay the fee and I'll take you anywhere. I already have airship memorized. Why did I. What if I ask Wild Rose? Nope. <laughs> What's so great about that mess of a machine? Nothing can beat my beauty. If you want to ride their ship, give your guild to the guy behind me. Okay. So this is a jumping off point of sorts. Oh, it looked like there was more to go and see over there. One drawback from this game compared to the last Final Fantasy is the borders of towns has, is not as clear. Have you seen the airship? It belongs to a guy named Sid and he's the only one who can control that thing. I'm sure we could manage. Okay, so the, the item shops are still... I don't know why I bother at this point. Well, this, this one at least clearly looks to be identifiable as the end of town. What can we get here? A dagger, a mace, an axe, or a bow. So these are all the same. I'm beginning to question if I can actually get better weapons or if we just... Ah! Or if we just have to increase our skill in a weapon in order to get stronger. Zed, you'll find him in the pub here. He'll let you ride on the airship if you pay him. The town of Basque is to our east, but it is being occupied. Oh, you're one of those people that just tells me the same thing as everyone else in this town. Okay. Bronze shields. Bronze Helms. Oh, this is what I already have. The shield is a little, or the sh yeah, the shield is a little tempting, but I would decrease my effective output of damage. You got any new scrolls, or are you rocking the same thing that Palum has? Rocking the same as Palum. All right, that's fair. Or is it? I don't know. 
So we are trying to go to Basque because that's where the Dreadnought is. I think that was the plan. Basque's also the cheapest, so it sorta makes sense that that would be the first location. All right, we got a deal. Now we'll prepare the airship for takeoff. Come to the airfield outside town. Is that what that area was that I was questioning? It is. Ah, it looks like I have to actually interact with it. Oh, there's the Dreadnought. Doesn't look like I can get to the Dreadnought easily. Mm, should I do it? I should do a new save file. Hello, Bafsk. So this is a situation where I don't talk to the knights again. Oh. Nobody's, nobody speak. Nobody get choked. Dark Knight. No dawdling here. Away. That's why no one's talking. Do you have anything new? Spear. Spear. That is new. A longbow. And a long sword. That lick of the lips was weird. I, I apologize. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You're using the staff and the dagger at the moment, so we're gonna wait, but we've got the bow when we're ready. Oh, I didn't, I, that's right. I switched you to Mason Axe. Aw, can I give you the broadsword as well? Wait, it was longsword. I could. Spear and longsword. That seems, we'll give you spear and javelin and you can <laughs> two hand them. You do more damage with both. So there is there is actually a case for using the spear and the javelin. Although if I'm going to do that, I might as well buy a second spear, right? Let's get rid of the broadsword cuz we got the long sword now. We'll get rid of the bow cuz we got the and we'll equip two spears on Firion. I wonder if that's gonna help improve my mastery over the weapon faster because I'm wearing I'm wielding two of them. I would be okay with this. Let's see if there's any new There's silver plate now. Nope, nope, still want you to have the dagger, please. I know the other one would be stronger. So far, not a fan of the fact that no, no items stack. I have to sell them all individually. Oh, this is the church. Not even coffee can save me from this yawn. Fool, don't speak to me now. The Dark Knight is here. You'll get us both killed.
How do I get the Dark Knight to leave? Fear Scroll. Basuna. Esuna. Silence. I don't know what these do, so I will get one of each and read them. Raya? What are you doing? Raya? My hair is bothering me. not the intended purpose of this thing, but maybe it'll work. I don't think it's going to stay very long, but it's it's working at the moment. Oh. Yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> okay. What, what did these do? Asuna... That's not helpful. <laughs> Just gonna give all the spells to Maria for now. And when she fills up, which it looks like that is going to happen eventually. Whoops. We will start forgetting ones. Whoops, I wanted to try and read what those would do. Cure status ailments. Cures temporary status ailments. Silences target. Causes target to flee. Okay. Mm. I don't really... Fear might be good to have another copy of, but that's about it. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh good, Goblin Guard, hey! These Goblin Guard look way different than the last game's Goblin Guard. Let's use... Shield? Remember, at the end of the day, I'm trying to get Maria's magic up. Looks like the shield only worked on Firion. Which is less than ideal. Ugh, how do we get up to the Dreadnought? I think I need to figure out how to get Bloodsucker. I need to figure out how to get the Black Knight, Dark Knight out of there before I can talk to the other Dark Knight, who I assume is going to open up the passageway to get to that area. It would be my guess. Problem is, I don't know how to do that. frozen area up here. I'm worried I'm going to start running into bombs and shit again that are going to wreck my day. This could be it for us. Bolt? Barrier. Oh, never mind. The loper is not a difficult creature. Was I supposed to come over here? To Salamand? Which I assume is this place? Not a soldier. The last soldier I tried to fight whooped my ass. Shield. 
shield five. Wow. Do I hold on? Hold the fucking phone. So I I think I think you just improve your magic spells by using your magic spells, which is not something that I considered. This is Salamand. I was right. They said to the north, the men of Salamand have been enslaved to work in the cavern behind the Semit Falls. Please help us. On the mountains south of Salamand are the Semit Falls. The Empire have been mining mithril in the cave. Not mithril. It's what I need. I don't know why I need it. I don't remember why I need it, rather. Battle axe. Mika, you are opening the curtain. Now that I know I can equip just two of the same weapon, there is a strong temptation to just dual wield battle axes. How clunky and fucking difficult would that be? Two spears? It just feels like it would be, seems like it would be very awkward to try and hold them both. Two battle axes, same idea. Unless you're big and strong like Gus, maybe. I did pick the right character, so when I looked it up, they mentioned, well, they actually, whatever I was looking at, I think it was a game fax, said to equip Maria with all the black magic spells and then some white magic spells and give Furion a little of both because Maria starts with higher intelligence than anyone else in the main four, which is, look at that. Javelin at three. I think the mace counts as a staff, so maybe I don't want to be equipping the mace. Maybe I do want a sword and an axe for Gus. They were also very presumptuous that I would keep the same items for my characters. Wait, what? I see. So I saw something about keep Maria with the bow because the strongest bow in the game casts a black magic spell and and you will and Firion because Firion starts with the sword they should have the spells because the final sword and go, why would I keep the sword just because you're telling me to hock off <laughs> I do what I want get rid of this mace maybe I'll keep a mace because if it's a staff I can give this to Oh, that's actually a real good fucking idea. Why didn't I think of that? Here, have the mace. Excuse me? Oh, I keep forget. as soon as you equip it, it just looks at if you want to swap it with the other thing. So I keep thinking it's actually worse. Gotta stop doing that. 
Alright, bye! Mm. I don't need any items. Why do I keep coming into this shop? Ah! This magic is tucked away. Must be better magic. Life scroll. Phase scroll. Banish scroll. Warp scroll. I'm gonna give Firion the warp scroll. She's almost out of slots for spells. Uh Fine. Can discard them if I need to. So I think it, that the number next to these is either the number of times I've cast it or the percentage that I am towards leveling up the spell. My guess would be it's about the same idea as with the weapons. Warp target to another dimension or to the previous level. What does that mean? Like if I'm fighting a, a goblin guard, I can warp it to another level and I'll encounter the same goblin guard later? Reduces target's MP. That one doesn't seem like that's gonna be super useful. That might be one of the ones that we get rid of. Bit of a shock there going from inside where it's super dark and there's torches lit. Oh, this is the church. To being outside in the snow. So, you're only using candlelight to light this room, eh? You know how bright it is outside, right? I love Yosef, but I'm afraid I will only be in his way if I am at his side. Is Yosef in here? Oh yeah. Hello. How I love my coat of many colors. Mithril? M Mithril? Well, um, I can't find it yet. I've got clues as to where it is, though. Well, before I go further, I'll need you to prove yourselves. The people of Salamand were taken to work in the cavern behind the Semit Falls. Save them all and I'll trust you. Princess Hilda sent you here? A group of half-pints like you? I find that hard to believe. I know what it is. It's that monster of an airship. I know who's the airship airship, but I'm not telling you. Okay. So we have to go to the Summit Falls in order to progress the story.